Good morning everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is a question and answer. I know you're all dying to ask me loads of questions so I'm excited to answer them. So I put out a Q&A question on Instagram um, for you guys to leave all your questions for me. I had so many back which is mega cool. They're all like similar so I've kind of tried to like generalise them a little bit like the foodie ones all together. So Hopefully in some sort of roundabout, weird way, I can answer your questions. So, the first one is, how did you get into cycling? My brother and my dad are super keen cyclists, and my brother is an ex-downhill professional mountain biker. That's a tongue twister, but he was good at like going downhills pretty fast. So he did that, so when I was younger I trained with him, and we live in the Peak District, so it was a super good place to go out and mountain bike. So I just did it for a bit of fun really when I was younger. Um, my dad suggested to me one day, maybe go and try a taster session on the track. Sort of like watch the Revolution series when I was younger, and I loved it. Like, was like hyped up over it as a young little kid, like sat at the barriers like, oh my god. So yeah, I went there, had a taster session, and literally just got the bug from it there ever since. So started on the track, and now in the last few years I've moved onto the road. Goals for next year. This is a bit of a tricky one because I feel like when you come to like the end of the season, like your body's just a bit like wanting a break and like you're not really sure like you've got an idea kind of like rough but you just want in your off season and then you're going to start your winter training and start like thinking about next year in my head right now i want to do loads more tts um i really want to target the national time trial championships again this year i got eighth and i'd really really love a top five and i think that's a realistic goal for next year as well so that's a huge that's a huge thing for me next year really then also the tour series that are happening in May, the town centre crits that happen all around the country. I've always kind of come into the tour series a little bit lacking that like top end and I've always sort of like ridden into my legs and the last couple I've been like oh my god like I'm dead into it now like let's go and then it's finished. And so I'd really really like to sort of get to the first round like like and start them and like hit them hard and like go for it. Next question is what is my favourite meal? My favourite meal would have to be chicken tikka masala and I do feel like a lot of people would agree with me on that. Like it's comfort food. It's like, you come in from a race at the end of a weekend, you're tired, like, if you're gonna make a homemade one, you can whip it up dead quick, or you've got the takeaway for a bit of a treat. I just love it, love it, but the, it has to be right. Nothing worse than a bad chicken curry, like, no. Gym work in the off season. I personally haven't done much gym work in my time being a cyclist. I feel like me and my coach have just agreed that you can get just as much of a benefit from on the bike strength work that you can do. But for sure this year as I'm sort of developing and like you, you're doing harder races and longer races and the intensity goes up, races nowadays are so hard. So yeah, that would be, that will be a big part of my winter training this year to be um, like up in the gym work. And I'm really looking forward to it, like it's something new. It's a place where you can get away and do double days in the winter and you're not having to be out in the cold weather and stuff. So for sure I'll be doing a lot more gym work this winter. Cam's most annoying habit. Now this is probably one of my most favorite questions because He's gonna hate it, but I love it. He actually doesn't have any annoying habits and he's gonna be like, his head's gonna grow to the size of a balloon from me saying that. But he actually doesn't have any annoying habit. There's one thing that really, really winds me up more than anything. And it's the fact that he doesn't get annoyed. <laughs> that is the that is the most annoying thing. You want someone to react. Like I say things to like provoke a reaction and stuff, and he's just like, mm, yeah, okay, like whatever. He he's so neutral with things. Like he doesn't get annoyed, which is good because he's like zen and he like keeps everyone chilled out and stuff. He doesn't really have annoying habits. Like and that's annoying in itself, and it isn't it really? He's a pretty good egg sometimes. Next question is my favorite snack. Now this question gets me just excited thinking about it. Yogurt. Greek yogurt with like nuts in there and fruit in there. Oh yeah, it has to have a dollop of Nutella or peanut butter on the side, you know, just for a little bit of flavor. But for sure, Greek yogurt, like I feel like that's quite a boring snack. But I do feel like I'm a bit of a yogurt snob. I only enjoy co-op Greek yogurt. Like yeah, has to be co-op. I'm gonna have to call it co-op Greek yogurt. If you've not tried it, try it, unreal. Next question is my, what are my 2020 plans? I'm staying with Story Racing. 2020 which is so super cool and I'm so excited about because I've been with the team now for like six years next year will be my fourth year in story racing which I'm so super excited about because it just shows really I've not moved team I've not felt like I've needed to those guys have stuck by me like it works I'm so happy like the motivation to race like you've got like friends that are like family like it's mega it's such an unreal setup personally it works like a dream for me so I'm 
gonna stick with that. Sort of morals and their plans for the year and stuff that really suits me, like they're really into development. Sarah and Barney have got this depth of knowledge between them. It's such a good environment to learn from. I feel like I'm learning as as a person off the bike as well from them. And the setup that they put you in, they give you all these opportunities, not only on the bike, but off the bike to meet people, meet sponsors and and get really involved. And I think that's valuable. One, in the growth of yourself, you know, the development of you. And I think it's just a great skill to have to be able to sort of speak to people and super looking forward to 2020. The race calendar's looking ace. I'm not gonna say any more than that. You'll have to stay tuned on the videos. I'm gonna do so many more race videos through the season. I'm gonna get everyone involved. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, it's all shush for now, but you'll soon find out. So do stay tuned for more videos on that. Okay guys, so it's now the following day. I had a few more questions overnight and like yesterday afternoon. So this is like a part two to the questions bit. The next one is, are you still scared of Steve? Now I assume this means Steve Lampier, which is Cameron's boss. Am I still scared of him? Yeah, of course, he's a scary person. But no, he's super nice. Like we get on really well. We've sort of got to know more about each other since like Cameron's been working with him and since me and Cam have been together and stuff. Yeah, if you don't know Steve Lampier, you need to be scared of him. And no, he's lovely. Uh, we do really get on. <laughs> the next one is, how old were you when you started cycling? When I started cycling on the track, I think I was around like 14, 15 years old. 14, I think, I started on the velodrome and then um, went to the road when I was about 17. So, um, yeah, 14 years old I started cycling, but I'd been like riding downhill mountain biking with my brother since then, like just at like Mac Forest and stuff in the local area in Goit Valley, um, probably since I was like 10. Racing since about 14. The next one is how old am I? I am 21 years young. I'm still a baby. I've got loads of life ahead of me. So yeah, 21. What bike do I ride? Now I ride the Boardman Air. It's like black and silver colour scheme. I really like it um, and it's all a quick DI2 and stuff like that. So yeah, rides really nicely. I like it. My favourite riders, I assume this means like the World Tour Peloton as well as like the national level really. I think one of my inspirational female cyclists to me would be Annemiek van Vleuten. I mean, it speaks for itself really, her performance at Worlds in Yorkshire, a ride at La Course, like she's phenomenal. She's an unreal athlete and I think more girls should be looking up to somebody like her. Um, I mean, every female athlete in the pro professional peloton are incredible like you inspire to be be like every single one of them because they put themselves through so much but i'd say yeah she's a name that instantly comes to mind when i think of like favorite riders and then obviously obviously dame sarah story who is my boss mentor coach all-around favorite human being she's ace and super quick on a bike so yeah, that is the end of the questions officially now. Thank you so much for sending in all your questions onto the Instagram. I hope to do like more of these in the future with like the team and things like that so you can get to know a bit more about the setup. Please leave a like and subscribe on this video and um, stay tuned for so many more coming soon. Bye!